video we are going to look at group 18 elements now before we get into group 18 elements let's look at the periodic table again as a whole so the periodic table is uh, arrangement of elements according to ascending proton number so hydrogen's proton number is 1 helium's proton number is 2 after we go right then we go down start from the left again lithium is 3 beryllium is 4 and then if we go on to 5, 6, 7 and so on and then to the next row and to the next row and so on so also remember what groups and period mean the uh, groups are the vertical columns so there are a total of 18 groups in the periodic table and there are a total of 7 periods so periods are the horizontal rows now group 18 is the last group so group 18 elements are all the elements in this group right here so we have helium neon argon krypton xenon radon and organison now this is a synthetic element we will not be looking at this we look at helium until radon so all of them exist in the gaseous state now just a note for ig students if you're taking ig cse they are also known as group 8 this is the roman numeral 8 or group 0 users of group 18 elements actually we see group 18 elements every day so helium is uh, very common used in balloons neon i'm sure we've all heard of neon lights okay they are used in red tube lights argon is used in lamps and light bulbs so these are some users of noble gases now, atomic radius is a very important concept that you need to familiarize, familiarize with because this is not only relevant in group 18 this will come up again and again as we study all the groups so what is atomic radius? very simply put it is the radius of the atom radius of the atom is measured from the center of the atom until the outermost shell so center to outermost shell so this is the atomic radius now as we go down the group going from helium to neon to argon and so on as we go down the group of course the number of the period number is increasing from period 1 to period 2 to period 3 now if you remember the period number reflects the number of shells so helium has one shell with two electrons neon has two shells with eight electrons in the outer shell and argon has three shells and so on so as we go down the group the atomic radius is going to be increasing because they keep adding one shell now this increasing atomic radius has an impact on the physical properties so just to differentiate between physical properties and chemical properties physical properties are things like uh, melting point, boiling point, solubility, density, electrical conductivity, heat conductivity. Chemical properties are all about their reactions. So physical properties of group 18 elements, generally all of them have low melting and boiling points. Now this is the reason they exist as gaseous state in room temperature and pressure. However, they have a trend, increasing trend down the group. This means that as we go down from helium, if we go down all the way until radon, the melting point and boiling point increases. So let's say I were to compare the melting point of argon and helium. Argon will have a higher melting point since it is lower down the group. That is the trend. Why is this so? The melting point and boiling point gets bigger. Okay higher because the atomic size becomes bigger now all the atoms of the group 18 elements are held together by what we call van der Waal forces of attraction so van der Waal forces of attraction is the force of attraction that holds the atoms of the gases together all right they pull each other they have an attraction towards each other and this attraction is very weak however when we go down the group as the atomic size increases, remember when we go down the group, the size increases, atomic radius increases, van der Waals forces of attraction will also increase. So when atomic size increases, van der Waals forces of attraction will increase. 
Now that the forces of attraction are stronger when the size is bigger, it will take more energy to overcome this force of attraction. And that is why the melting point and the boiling point increases. Now generally, they all have low density. As you know, they are gases. Gases have very low density. However, they also show an increasing trend down the group. They are insoluble in water and do not conduct electricity. Now, chemical properties of group 18 elements are the easiest because they are unreactive. Inert means unreactive. Okay, they do not react. Why is this so? Because they are stable. They are stable because they have full outer electron shells. Now, just to go back to this. So, the outer shell is full. Now, for the first shell, helium, the first shell, the maximum number of electrons here will be 2. So, this is considered stable. For the second shell, it's 8. For the third shell, it's eight. everything else will be 8. Remember, we're talking about the outermost shell. Okay, so helium will be 2, considered as full. Neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon will be 8. Eight. Now, since they are already full, okay, they don't need to lose electrons or gain electrons to achieve the stable structure. They are already stable. There is no need to lose or gain electrons. Now, why is this important? Because all chemical reactions are actually gaining, losing or sharing of electrons. All chemical reactions involve some movement of electrons. Okay, so in this case, there is no need to lose or gain electrons or share electrons for that matter. That is why they are unreactive. And they exist as monoatomic atoms. Now, monoatomic atoms, mono means one. So, one atom, they exist as single atoms. That means helium atoms, a, a gas jar of helium atoms will contain single helium atoms. Right, single helium atoms. Now, helium's electron arrangement is known as the duplet electron arrangement because it consists of two electrons and it is full. For everything else, they have eight electrons and they are con they're called the octet electron arrangement. So, this is generally all the physical and chemical properties of group 18 